Have you ever wondered how submarines are able to float and sink beneath the ocean's surface? Today, we'll dive deep into exploring the science behind their ability to control their buoyancy. To understand how submarines work, we first need to grasp the concept of buoyancy. Buoyancy is the upward force that keeps objects afloat in a fluid, like water. When an object is submerged in water, it displaces an amount of water equal to its own volume. This displaced water creates an upward force, or buoyant force, that opposes the object's weight, allowing it to float. The object will float if its weight is equal or less than the buoyant force. The object will sink if its weight is greater than the buoyant force. Submarines control their buoyancy using a clever system of ballast tanks. These tanks are located throughout the submarine and can be filled with water or emptied of it. The process of submarine diving or surfacing is a delicate balance. When the ballast tanks are filled with water, the submarine becomes heavier and it starts to sink. In order to submerge, the crew fills the ballast tanks with water. To surface, they pump out the water from the tanks, increasing the submarine's buoyancy. When the tanks are getting emptied, the submarine becomes lighter and it starts to rise toward the surface. The goal for a submarine is to achieve neutral buoyancy, where it hovers in the water column at a desired depth. This is crucial for stealth and control. Submarines constantly adjust the water level in their ballast tanks to maintain this neutral buoyancy. This keeps submarines stay submerged at any depth without sinking to the bottom or rising to the surface. Now you know how cleverly submarines leverage the principles of buoyancy and their ballast tanks to control their depth in the water. You can visit our wowsciencefacts.com website for more scientific content like this. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to Science Hub and giving it a thumbs up for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.